Hello friends, how are you? Uh, this is Dr. your friendly neighborhood pediatrician Dr. Aditya Bhatt and today we will uh, discuss a bit about thalassemia and the chelation therapy. So uh, as you all know, thalassemia is an autosomal recessive condition and uh, usually the clinical features of this condition include chipmunk faces and the uh, pa progressive pallor, hepatosplenomegaly and need for recurrent transfusion. Uh, the severity of this disease is dependent upon the imbalance between the synthesis of alpha and beta chain that is the more the alpha chain synthesis more the uh, severity of the disease and lesser the beta synthesis uh, beta chain synthesis more the severity now a uh, common condition that is associated with thal minor is uh, a thal intermedia is uh, iron deficiency anemia so there are multiple differences between the two but the two most important that might be asked in the question uh, exams uh, first one is the Menzer index Menzer index is the ratio of mcb mean corpuscular volume with the total rbc count now as you know both the conditions are hypochromic microcytic anemia so in both conditions uh, the mcv is decreased but in uh, iron deficiency anemia there is also the decrease in total rbc count while in thal intermedia it is normal so the ratio menzer index ratio more than 13 is suggestive of iron deficiency anemia while the ratio less than 13 is suggestive of thal intermedia another uh, rule that is followed by thal intermedia is also called as rule of three so when you multiply the total number of rbc count that is might be 2.5 to 3 lakhs when you multiply it by three uh, what uh, sorry it, it is in million uh, so when you multiply it by 3 you get the HB value that might be 9 or 10 and uh, when you multiply the HB value by 3 you usually get the hematocrit it is followed by thal intermedia while it is not followed by iron deficiency anemia one of the screening tests in uh, thalassemia is also called as nestroft uh, and uh, uh, the confirmatory diagnosis of thalassemia is done by hb electrophoresis now one of the more uh, now uh, as you know that thalassemia might be uh, the thalassemia major is usually transfusion dependent so you have to give repeated transfusion which might lead into iron overload now iron overload is uh, usually uh, implicated uh, in cardiac dysfunction of the patients so the sequence is first the involvement of epicardium then the endocardium and finally the myocardium now uh, we have multiple uh, regimens in the thalassemia. Uh, we uh, give transmission as per the target HV. So uh, one of the regimen is called as the palliative regimen where we uh, maintain HV at 8.5. Other is called as moderate. That uh, In that we maintain HV between 9 to 10 gram per deciliter then there is hypertransfusion in which we maintain the HV between 10 to 12 and then there is the super transfusion in which we maintain HV more than 14. Now uh, let's uh, start with chelation therapy. So uh, chelation is usually started when the ferritin is more than 1000 nanogram per ml or we have given more than 10 transfusion or the hepatic iron concentration is more than 3.2 milligram of dry weight of the liver. 